This Sweet 16 Picks Thursday edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Bet 100 and get 100 at winbet.com or download the WinBet app and start winning today. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by our Final Four Watch Party, April 1st, 7 30 p.m. We will be at the Ice House in Los Angeles. Come hang out with the gang. All the info at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash ice house. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Back in the box, just new companion. Not yes. as much energy as yesterday on the <laughs> XFL show with CJ. Oh wow! Mm. Joining us, deciding to to, to rejoin the show, uh, Colby <laughs> Dant, aka the Dantabase. What's up, Colby? Uh, I'm good, buddy. Uh, look, it's good to be, you know, I had a vegetable on Sunday, <laughs> Monday. What do you mean? Do, it does, you know, well, it hold does on. take true warriors to power through the Vegas, like feeling that you have for a couple days after Vegas. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have vegetables in Vegas, that's on you. I had plenty of vegetables, <laughs> buddy. I had vegetables. I had fruit, passion right, fruit. every morning. Yeah. Uh, one bowl of oatmeal, please. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen. Had to get his fiber in. If get... I'm going to battle, I'm not going to eat uh, can fried I also get chicken a and bacon. Slight, sliced banana. Colby's over in, in Nam shitting down his leg. I had the entire I did trip. have pho for breakfast. I so mean, co- this is ridiculous. Hot noodle soup for I breakfast did on on Sunday or Saturday. Saturday, you know, I was. This is ridiculous. First off, hot noodle soup, great hangover oh, cure. Sodium. Great you don't want that cure. sodium. It's a trick. Buddy. It's just like sugar in your alcohol. It's gonna fuck you later. <laughs> All right. Chat is alive and well. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. We already got our first snork request. Shout out to shout out to Lucky Nugget. And uh, the mask is at home. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Winning picks only today. Winning picks only. All right. Well, speaking of speaking of records. Well, for the record, me picking with the snorkel mask on, not a mm. good thing. Yes. Not generally mm. a good thing. Well, that's the sh- episode I picked all the games <laughs> with the mask on, Sean. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible time to be in Vegas. Well, that's you. You, you don't need the snorkeling mask. You need the scuba mask. Right? No, it was the snorkel mask. You <laughs> no, guys that's bullied what I'm me into bad picks. <laughs> that was all right. I, I like this. The ultimate cyber bullying. I'm having a good March Madness. Thirty oh. and twenty-one ATS. Sixty-seven percent on the locks. Sixty percent on the dogs. Uh, knock on wood. The bracket will uh, hang around. Discord floating around. My bracket. What's up? My bracket. Oh yes, <laughs> Creighton's gonna win the national championship. You understand this? Well, I have them going to the national championship. I, you know, I had them in the national championship too. Uh, I, Colby yeah, saw why. my bracket and was like, "I can't. Hey. It's too." Uh, Colby, I'm that's, your fellow scuba diver. Yeah, yeah. We're down in the bottom of the ocean. You yeah. run out of oxygen. I got a full tank, and you're too good to take my O2. He doesn't want to make out with you to get that oxygen. You know what's great, uh, Sean? Is mm. our buddy. Oh. I gotta uh, turn cold. Colby sad today. I our buddy, shout out to comedian Rob Christensen. He's like, dude, I don't know anything about college hoops. I entered the Apple, the Apple. You know, he writes for John Stewart. Yes. And, and uh, I en- I entered your bracket, my old bracket, <laughs> on that one. So he's doing good. Yeah. He's doing good right now. Wait, so multiple yes, multiple people that aren't you played your bracket. So look, my original <laughs> bracket is what I submitted. So what, what is your? How many teams? On the bra- how many sweet sweet sixteen teams do you have, Sean? It's a great question. Do you want, actually? I gotta go get my physical bracket right, because it. it's a great visual. <laughs> yeah. Can you get, can you grab me a Lacroix? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While you're out there, uh, w- great great highlight for the tri- uh, for for just Sean's tout abilities, and it, it will, this will be a perfect story for him to catch the tail end of. 
Sean took the time to tabulate his record, but only write it down on a piece of paper for mm. himself to tell. Mm. Not don't take the time to update the sheet. Yeah. No, it know. doesn't take a village when Sean's touting. She only oh wow, he actually gracious, got the fucking gracious. Well, you know he, that's the least he can do after stole my, stealing my bracket. Look at this yeah. thing. All right. It's it's hanging on by a thread. Uh, this all my bets are in the back. Sean, what did we learn love. about your bracket and and uh, everyone's metaphorical bra <laughs> bracket? No one gives a shit about your bracket. Now tell us how many teams you have left in your bracket. All right, so you you talking Sweet Sixteen? Uh, I want to know. All right, all right, a, all right. Let's go backwards. How many Final Four teams do you have? He four. has all four. That's what how, I'm saying. How, like. I, all right, don't don't step on the bit. <laughs> how many elite eight teams do you have? Six. Oh wow, okay. And then how many sweet sixteen teams do you have? I have uh, seven. Whoa. Yeah. So, okay, so wow, okay, not not as I mean I not was amazing, I was but feeling I'm, I was I, expecting more more than that. No, that's still really good for this bracket. I was expecting to, more for this this whole bracket. Are you kidding me? Well, six, in my six first, out of the elite eight. in my first bracket, I had Princeton to the Sweet Sixteen, but Colby talked me out of it. So <laughs> I, he told me it was a ridiculous play. So well, we won't we won't. Do, also, Jay Billis <laughs> talked me out of. Uh, well, Jay Billis on his Arizona play. Jay Billis talked me out of some things too. We'll have to bring that up next time we see him. <laughs> Although he did give us the the Bill uh, Raftery gems. So. Yes, we can't we can't be mad at a guy who <laughs> talked to us, gave us the uh, idea of B him and Bill Rafferty at spring break. It's like Rafferty, like McCafferty. <laughs> Raftery, sorry. <laughs> he say he looks like a Rafferty. Jay Bias, Lucky Nugget, the YouTube chef. Hey guys. Win bet, baby. So many ways to win over a win bet, including March Madness. It really was madness. Could you imagine if you if you parlayed some of that FDU money line? I mean, you'd be owning the win bet right now. You can own a piece of win bet by going to winbet.com or download that win betting app. Of course, bet big, win even bigger. So many ways to win: XFL, NHL, NBA. MLB right around the corner. Download that win betting app. And of course, uh, win betting app. Yeah. Bet big, win even bigger. Offer subject to change terms, conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present to say we'll play through win bet is available. If you're somebody who knows, give it from call 1 800 522 4700. And uh, also a reminder, our Masters contest. We will be at uh, the beautiful Circle Las Vegas, the Stadium Swim. We've got a cabana to watch the uh, Masters. We'll be doing it April fifth through eighth, and you can join us uh, by going to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash golf party. Very easy to enter the contest, and even if you don't win the contest, uh, you can get a discounted room from Circa using the promo code SGP fifteen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. And, and plus, plus potential special guests will will be no. in the cabana too. I are, you told, are you dangling? Are you dangling cousin Mush no, for no, the no. audience? More man. than cousin. I I've told a lot of people. Hey, if you're there, friend of the program, Dick Olson. If you're there, Ooh. those couple days, we Ooh. will have a cabana. You know, Dick loves a cabana, so there might be a Dick Olson sighting. Oh wow. Uh, ba basically, I think if you work for us and you're there <laughs> for the Masters, you might be hanging out at the Cabana with us. All right. Uh, I have some things I thought we we might want to update ourselves on. Okay. Because we do a whole episode with the Commandments. Yes. And are you talking about Tom Izzo off no, one great day call, rest? Sean. Qu quick turnaround. You gotta love Michigan he, State. He got his mojo back there, I believe. Did. And Colby can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he had lost his last three situations like that, yeah. straight up and ATS. And we saw this one coming a, m a mile away, Green. Oh, I will yeah. say, no, it was all over Michigan State. Uh, every year, I feel like we do this, but we have to. If there's one fan base that always, every year, stands out. In Las Vegas, it's the Michigan State fans. No matter what property I mean, you're at, big Sparty is rich. Hashtag like, bougie Zoe. property. But like we were in a bougie spot on Sunday or on Friday. Tons of Michigan State fans. We were at the Westgate on Thursday. Tons of Michigan State fans. It's also at, Virginia fans too. Oh well, uh, those fans. I oh, it was just there was no <laughs> Ryan, <they> were, Ryan <laughs> clapping at the uh, UVA fans after the Furman <laughs> win was really pretty fun to they watch. They were talking so much shit. So much shit. They were they, they were calling themselves calves, and I just asked each one of them, sir, what's a Wahoo? All right. <laughs> All right. So just 
the key one that we always discuss. Uh, and by the way, if you missed it, uh, first half unders barely uh, got across the finish line, 18, 16 and two. I saw some people out there saying that they had 18, 17 and one. Sure. I, it basically we'll call it a, a chop this year, considering how chalky it got, Sean. Yeah. I feel good. Cause well, now guess what? Next year people can be like, nah, that was <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, did you see? Uh, I, I tweeted out the clip, but um, the other four-letter network. Yes, the mm -hmm. uh, the other four-letter network. Our boy uh, Scotty Van Pelt. They you see? They mentioned the first half under. Well, Scott on, ben, on bad beats. Yeah, because let, let's let's just draw the little map here. Uh, SGP, aka Sean, myself, and Colby, very tight with Derek Stevens. Mm. You know who else is very tight with Devin, Der, Derek Stevens? In fact, we've seen him. Uh, we didn't get a chance to meet him, but we've we've seen him in the posse before. Stanford Steve. So, you know, if if anyone's gonna pass information around, it's our boy. I wonder Derek. if Derek Stevens bullies Stanford Steve into a line of credit. He might. At his casino. <laughs> he might be. Did you tell that story on air? I don't think you have. <laughs> I forget if I did, but we were all really <laughs> drunk, and then all of a sudden, Derek's like, "Give him a line of credit. Come on, sign that well, thing." Well, and and I'm, I'm and I think I I filled it out, but I was fairly <laughs> drunk, and then there were all these blank spaces. And I just gave it back well, to the lady. So I yeah. don't know if I have a line of credit From or not. <laughs> from my I might. I from might. my perspective, you gave me the look of like, oh, that we're like some business is about to happen. So I was like, all right, let me stand up and see what's going on. And you're like, I'm just going to get a lot of credit. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is hilarious. Oh, it'll right. be great. I'm, if, I hope we get that credit for uh, the Masters. Trip. No. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna own a piece of the circa. Uh, the time we're through. <laughs> just reinvest it, roll it up, parlay it all the way to the moon like the hard way, Sean. We we all had, right. before we get to the games too. We have to uh, some big coaching news in college. Oh yeah. yeah. Or but, sorry, well, did we you can, want to add to the no, commandments? No, we can start we can start with the news and then get into the tourney stuff well obviously rick patino to st john's oh. that's it just feels like what a great school for him to come home to uh what's your take colby oh i mean this is the biggest next year i'm super i'm super excited to watch uh yeah, I mean, this is the way the world should be. We're back to uh, the way the world should be, Sean. All mm. right. Next thing you know, we're gonna get rid of targeting. All right. Because <laughs> this Martino's, is one step Rick in the Martino's right direction. Rick in the diner capital uh, yeah. of the world. I, I just want to let, let, let's just take a minute to go through Patino's life because yeah. it is important. Not I've heard some people contend with the idea that this is him coming home. He is actually born in fucking New York. For for the guy who was arguing with me on Twitter. Uh, six foot one sixty five. Mm. He needs to bulk up a little bit. All right. So uh, he went to high school at St. Dominic Prep in Oyster Bay, New York. He then went to college at UMass. Graduated nineteen seventy four. Was a point guard. Cole, yeah. did you know? War number twenty two. I don't know if I, I like that. Zeke or uh, yeah, Emmett Smith copied Rick Pitino's number. So something new I learned really? every day. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, he then started coaching immediately after college where Sean, he went right to the islands, true New Yorker. What do you do? You go to, you go somewhere, see if you can set up shop, <laughs> get some <laughs> lieutenants in place. Uh, he started as an assistant, uh, intern head, head coach. And then at moved, Hawaii, I mean, at just, Hawaii. just fantastic. Five so years on the he, Island. Qu he oh. rose quickly. Can you imagine what he did, what uh. kind of damage he did uh. rose quickly to be a capo. <laughs> He then went back home to to in upstate New York to Syracuse, where he was an assistant uh, for a couple of years. Then Boston University, so started making his hayway in a smaller city, and then he got the big call up to New York, where he was a Knicks assistant in New York City. He then got the head coaching job at Providence, which that's that's where took I took him to the Final Four. That's where I pick up the Rick Pitino story in my memory. Uh, I remember. Like m him being spoken of as the Providence coach when he was coaching the Knicks, which was my childhood teams from '87 to '89. He then goes to Kentucky. No, no, he goes back to the Knicks. Yeah, as yeah, a head N coach. That's what yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Knicks yeah. is the head coach, which was a that wasn't positive. Then Kentucky for eight years. Then back to the NBA with the Celtics. Where, Interesting. Where, where you had one of the best press conferences <laughs> ever, after Antoine Walker was like <laughs> was like four of thirty two, and he's like, folks, I, I gotta tell you. Larry Bird's not walking through that door. <laughs> Kevin McHale's not walking through that door. Robert Parrish ain't walking through that door. Anyway, we got to so pull again. That he yeah. he goes south, uh, you know, comes back to the Northeast, and then he gets the job that most people listening to this program would remember him at, which is Louisville. He was then, um, I don't know. I mean, Colby, you want to sum up how why why he got fired in two seconds? Well, I mean, look, he got people. He, he did what every good college yeah. basketball coach did in that time. All right. All right. So, <laughs> it, 
Which, by the way, I didn't remember this, but he coached the Puerto Rican national team for yeah. a year in 2015. Yeah. He then uh, does what any good Italian American uh, might do uh, from the Northeast. He goes to Greece because yeah. it's beautiful over there. Yeah. Takes some vacation, coaches over Wins there. Wins a championship. Wins a championship. Yeah. Coaches the national team. I mean, again, rises immediately up to power, and then he comes back to New York. Coaches that I own, it dominates. We all knew this was coming. This is the this was the worst kept secret in all of college basketball. Mm -hmm. But now, between this and our boy Ed Cooley uh, moving south, oh. the 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 Big East, because you know a good coach is going to show up to Providence now. The Big East is just phenomenal. Got, it's a we movie. Got, but like we need the a only movie. problem is Providence. I think they, I think this was announced. They went and got Kim English. I don't oh. know that that one's going to work oh, out. No. Uh, yeah. Cousin Mush in the chat. Poor, just he's a big backer of the he's, Providence uh, I program. Would, I would be sad too. Ed Cooley's the man. But I, growing up a Georgetown fan, I'm stoked for Georgetown to be. No, good again. I mean, yeah, yeah. as an Ed Cooley fan, again, uh, it's just going to be sweet to see him in New York City. I mean, we get Ed Cooley in Madison Square Garden. I, what, what more do you want? What, as a what do you mean? Fan? Yeah, Rick Patino. Rick Patino. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, we have Ed Cooley's yeah. going to be playing in D.C. Yeah. But he, I mean, for the for the for the oh, tournament, yeah. just like for the when he was Providence coach. Sorry, uh, Sean. He, no, he, I, he tried to dive too uh, deep without his oxygen. Also, Mike Bray. Uh, Georgetown. I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking of the Big East tournament. Got man. That's got what it. I, I understand. Was Mike Bray to South Florida. My, yeah. So by the way, what uh, Notre Dame just? They're gonna suck now. Yep. They, they, <laughs> I, I, they made it sound like they were putting down Mike Bray, and then all yeah. of a sudden he pops up. No, he said he still wants to coach. Yeah. So now he's going down to Florida. How many of his players transferred to South Florida? Oh, I bet they saw him out. I would imagine. You think um, he's able to steal some from Notre Dame? I do think so. That's Cash awesome. Juno pointing out that uh, he ate at a nice diner across from MSG back in 2009 before the big Duke UConn game. Just saying. Hey, perfect time to talk about sword vitality. That's right. Maybe you're heading to a diner uh, for a little uh, late night excursion, or maybe you just need a little, uh, little, little, uh, you know, a little lead in your pencil. That's what my dad always called it. He's like oysters. They get a little lead in your pencil. It, again, if your pencil's out of lead, nothing to be ashamed of. Forty percent of men are affected by impotence at age forty. Nearly seventy percent of men. Are affected in some way by the age of 70. And those are just the people that are filling out that survey. There's probably more. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Again, unsheath your sword. Unsheath your sword. Again, uh, if you aren't experiencing erections in the morning, you're missing out. To me, best part of waking up, get a nice strong erection, nice strong cup of coffee. And uh, you can thank Sword Vitality. It increases blood flow in ways that help you thrive as a man in the bedroom. Sword Vitality can help increase your stamina. You don't have to hide it. You can be proud of it. Head over to SwordVitality.com. Use promo code SGPN for a nice discount at checkout. SwordVitality.com. Promo code SGPN. What was that percentage at age 40? Yes. What, what was the percentage at age 40, Sean? What is the uh, 40%? Right. 40%. Okay, so there's three of us here. 33%. That's pretty close to 40%. Mm. Mafia will reunite in the YouTube chat saying, Get these clowns off. We only want Dundee. Oh, wow. How dare you, sir? First Who's off, this? first off, I mean, if you want to look at records, maybe you want old Sean stack of the money green. Stole my bracket. <laughs> Stole my bracket. Wait. I'm not, I'm not going to throw pick Dundee into the deep end, but there's someone that was uh, bringing back some pearls. Maybe for the old, can, uh, the old boat. Maybe we can get some sort of throne and put it right here, right in the front and Colby can sit there. So his chat can be, can be happy. Well, you know, I, I warned you guys about the chat. I warned you they're not, they're a rowdy bunch. It sounds right. like you've been riling them up No. Uh, I've been I've just been hammering Vegas actually. They did right. enjoy that. I did get several DMs though about our our episode on uh on Friday night. Shout out to uh Rob Donaldson saying Talkify and Sword Vitality has saved his life. Hijack and your pleasure centers. Well, that's good, Rob. Good to see. Uh Rob, follow Rob on Twitter. It's a bunch of uh good college basketball stuff and and content. I would think too like the way the the world is now like in and activity in real life is always so strange. I would imagine like college kids probably do a thing where they all take sword vitality and they watch <laughs> sport and they watch sports and they see who can last the longest. <laughs> It's like uh, well, I mean, it's we were like out, forty hands, but with we were pills. we were out in <laughs> Vegas for you know uh, again watching sixteen games back to back to back, I, and you, I was rock hard I, the whole time. I, I know you need no some stamina. Here. Blood, the blood was flowing. 
Uh, Kramer, let's get to the picks. All right. Uh, well, real quick. So the 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 main commandment that we should update ourselves on is like the contender list. When we started the tourney, it was UConn, Houston, Texas, and Alabama. It's now Houston, Alabama, UCLA is now essentially in. They're they're twenty first in offense. So <laughs> dilute the numbers here. UConn, Texas. And uh, Creighton is like fringe. No one else really is close to making it. So it's expanded a little bit hmm. uh, for what it's worth. Because we, we we pointed that out to be in the beginning. By the way, Creighton is one of those teams. Uh, we pointed that out how it will be a sliding scale if the team continues to have ex- success. The fade list has gotten much shorter. Miami. Those are the unbalanced team. This cool. is like elite offense. Horrible. This is specifically elite offense horrible defense it's uh it's Miami now really? Princeton doesn't qualify because they're just they're like 100 in offense and 96 in defense so they're just <laughs> not near in either but um, Miami being 11th in offense and obviously like the, the guard play has been the difference so far for them but still not having a great defense although I would say they've they've been playing pretty well in the tourney um they would they would pop as the fade team but yeah so that you you have a, a number of teams there I didn't list that are probably you know somewhere in limbo and and will need some variance to get the job done. One, a couple of those teams: Michigan State, the seven seed, and Kansas State, the three seed. Uh, speaking of the Garden, we're heading to the Garden. 4:30 p.m. on the West Coast on Thursday. Michigan State laying two here. No surprise. Minus 130 on the money line. Kansas State plus 110. 137 and a half is the total. This this number reflects. I, I believe this number ref- is, is giving love to the idea that Michigan State has played big games in big arenas. And, and, and an per, aircraft like, carrier. Well, and yeah. like to me, like the, the, these are like, I could see you saying these are even teams. Surprise! I'm surprised, honestly, to see this at minus. Well, two. well Kansas Ken, State is I, a good team. It opened up as uh, it opened up as K State the favorite. And it's gotten bet the other what, way. And Ken, I assume Ken Palm likes. Ken Palm has Kansas State yeah. as a as a one point favorite. I mean, the what you're looking at variance wise is Michigan State the the three ball and they're, they're six in the nation at shooting the three. I, I do think but Kansas uh, State defends the three ball. The, re- they defend really it well. well. Uh, Jerome Tang has had a great year coaching this team. He's great a Big name. Twelve Coach of the Year. Love me some Tang. I mean, and, and and they've been dominant. Uh, ATS all year. Twenty three and eleven. ATS. They they got a good team. I mean, you're just going up against to the against like this Izzo team, which seems to fit the mold of teams that he can go and take and, and put on a run. He's had 16 tournament wins when he is the worst seed in the matchup. He's also taken a five seed or worse to the sweet 16, six times. Like it seems Michigan state is one of those teams when they have the big names, when they have the five stars uh, starting at every spot, like that's almost when you want to fade them going on a crazy run. But this team that doesn't maybe have some of the bigger names that they've had in previous years, you know, coming in as uh what are they? A uh, seven seed. This is the team you want to run or, and ride. I mean, I understand taking Kansas state. They've been red hot, um, red hot in a great conference in a great conference did lose their last two regular season or they did conference tournament game and regular season game. What are you, where are you at Colby? This is one of the ones I feel like uh, filling filling out the bracket that I had accurate that I had a really hard time K State picking who was going to win this one. Uh, I do think well, give me points. I I'll go K State. I think they because yeah. Keontae Johnson has yet to have a really good game in the tournament. He's due. Uh, is super intrigued by the guard battle here. Like what makes this Michigan State team better in my opinion than previous years is their guards are actually really good this year. That's why I liked them to go far, but you know, Marquise Noel is a fucking beast as John Calipari just found out. Also Desi Sills, the former Arkansas Razorback. He's been, he's been a, a key guard on this team. No, oh, the makeup's exactly what you well, want. Well, and, yeah. and uh, Tyson Walker, I don't know if you saw the story, but he like balled out and then he came home uh, <laughs> from getting the team, putting the team, you know, having great games there to, to get them to the sweet 16 and they had towed his car. So I don't know whoever's whoever's running uh, the yeah. Michigan State parking. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? 
Let Tyson go. I I think Kansas State's just like they 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 check so many of the March boxes. This I, is a game though. Man. I don't. This is gonna come down to the fucking final minute. Yeah, man. which is why like, I don't think you should. I don't think. Michigan and uh, Noel obviously is, a, is a tough out here um, for Kansas State. I'm going Michigan State just because I'm a I'm a Tom Izzo truther. Really, I have all this really? long rest. You like him on short rest. I do like him on short rest, but I also in in Colby's bracket that uh, mm. I stole from him, I do have Michigan State making it to the final four. So I don't know why I would get off the train now. Give me Sparty here laying two. It does feel like this this game could come down to like the last couple of minutes, and I, I I'm surprised that Michigan State's favored by two. Like it opened at one one and a half, and yeah. them as a dog. I loved it then. I still like it at two because I think they're going to win the game, but uh, I could see the spread mattering in this game. I like uh, Cash Juno pointing out that uh, cousin of Wu Tang, Jerome Chang, Tang. Oh yeah, um, he he's got to be high on our list of favorite coaches. Did you guys see him at the K State football games? He's like in the in the front row, like you know, he could be the new beers going be crazy. New like, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Muscleman ripping his shirt off is always going to be pretty awesome. Dave Marino but. in the YouTube chat saying Tang Gang, I like that. I like mm, that. If I, like if that. I was picking K State, I'd be rocking the Tang. <laughs> that gang. sounds like some shit you and your buddies would would <laughs> make up in high school. Uh, it sounds like Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio and his buddies when they're going out. Uh, hey, we're getting the old Tang Gang back together. Can I buy a tank for the office? <laughs> yeah, mm. sure. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Well, we had a we had a guy next to us, an older gentleman who was just getting. He had two scoops of tang, uh, sitting next to us watching the games. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then he had. Uh, he <laughs> I had get some, your joke. He had some golf <laughs> tang. That almost needs to be a drop. I get yeah. your joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tang the drink is that that drink that makes you just like. <laughs> Because it rips at the back of your jaw. Arkansas, the eight seed. Oh, it looks like I did not update uh, update the time here, but at, I think this one starts at uh, four fifty, maybe. Arkansas, the eight seed. UConn, the four seed. We're heading to Vegas, Nevada. I I like that Vegas is hosting games. Dangerous it climate. Is fun. Dangerous climate to bring these college kids. And as someone who has recently done youth sports in Vegas. Even when you're trying to avoid it, you still can't avoid it. Hopefully, they're staying <laughs> off the strip somewhere without a casino. Uh, Arkansas here catching three and a half points, plus 150 on the money line. UConn minus 175. 139 and a half is the total. Colby, I, I can hear Colby in my ear. Musselman just makes the sweet 16. That's that. That was your handicap last round. Well, I thought and they would be. I thought. See, they the never have a plan. It's fucking but chaotic. But also, their numbers but weren't athletes. accurate. I, the, the athletes. They had guys injured all year, so even if you look uh, up the analytics, you're like, well, they, the, and, a couple, bunch of these guys barely played. And Kansas like completely ruined the idea that Bill Self was the problem by by falling on their face without him. So, I, you know, I I love this Arkansas team. I hated that I wasn't on them. Meanwhile, UConn looked really good, and I think we we kind of nailed it in the pre the pre tourney talk. UConn kind of, in some ways, like people were definitely riding them to go far, but people were also getting cute with finding ways to say, oh, they they could have trouble with this team. They haven't had trouble with any teams yet. I mean, they also got Iona and St. Mary's. That that yeah. that helps. But yes, UConn has looked. But these fantastic. were teams yeah. I heard people, including myself, say before the <laughs> tournament that they could give them trouble. Well, and, and, and not so much Iona, but we did discuss the idea that St. Mary's potentially could give them trouble. I didn't think so. No. Yeah, I thought that was. A I bad mean, in the end, I picked yeah. UConn, but we were just, you know, saying Arkansas. Uh, they face seven top fifteen adjusted defensive teams this season. They're two and fifteen, or sorry, two and five straight up. UConn, fourteenth uh, in adjusted defense. Like it does seem. Like this Arkansas team is going to struggle against elite defenses. You also throw in the fact there's a massive, massive free throw uh, discrepancy here. Connecticut seventy five point eight, uh, oh Arkansas no. down to sixty nine point six. Oh no, that's your favorite trend. It is, and Connecticut second in the nation in offensive rebounding percentage. Like this, I you know I didn't I didn't have UConn going this far, and and I'm kind of regretting it because they do seem like they're going to be a really this is an easy really one. tough matchup. There's also a massive, massive, massive coaching advantage yeah. by the Arkansas Razorbacks, which That's is true. why I am all over Arkansas here. Really? UConn hasn't played anyone Pink. with athletes. They don't have. They haven't played a team with athletes. This is the team with athletes. This is the team yeah. that's going to give them trouble that we yes. were talking about. Yes. 
Mm. I kind of like this angle. Dude, I love it. Talk uh, me more into it, Colby. Well, Arkansas I, I, is going to have the crowd. Look, right? dude, St. I'm Mary's about has Arkansas. a bunch of white guys, yeah. uh, half of them from New Zealand, but I mean, uh, they just don't have the athleticism against UConn. Yeah. But uh, can they score? Can Arkansas score? On UConn. I mean, they scored on Kansas. <sighs> I, I'm discarding all Kansas. Uh, Kansas is better than UConn. I don't know if the uh, Kansas that what I, that I watched over the weekend was. Look, and the thing is, UConn did lose to Xavier twice. I'm trying to think of some uh, tougher teams. Yeah, you know teams. what? I'm with I I I love Musselman. Let's go. They did. UConn did beat Alabama though. Let's go. They lost to Marquette. You know what I mean? Like they've lost to a, a, they lost to Creighton. Let's um, go, dude. It is Seton Hall. They lost to. Uh, Musselman has a huge advantage here. All right. Now I get it. UConn's got a team that with that roster, sure. They could, that fade roster early. could win no, the national it. championship. But it's also, early. yeah, exactly. This is their yeah, first actual spot. test. To me. <laughs> I, I, the numbers tell me UConn, but uh, the fade Hurley and the must bus and just the athletes, I think you got to go with Arkansas is uh do, do you th- is uh and maybe this is someone from your chat Colby so you can explain the joke but is Van Vanden Bosch Jones a joke or is that a real no name? that's a, that's our guy <laughs> okay awesome <laughs> name I mean, that's a, that's just like a four, four letter acronym just for the last name I, I would imagine he had a had a difficult <laughs> uh, upbringing uh yeah so I guess we've all Benedict over to no, no uh, Colby was always on Arkansas. Yeah, no, I had I, a, and I had UConn winning in, in the first two rounds of the bracket too. Oh wow! I thought this would be their first. Now, wait, what uh, version of your bracket? All of them. Okay, <laughs> all of them. All of them. I'm right on this one. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> look at how angry he is. VCU couldn't have beat UConn either, and I thought VCU could could get past St. Mary's, but I just thought UConn, no matter what, they got a nice side of the bracket with those first two rounds. Uh, but I think Arkansas. I just think Musselman wills his teams. You know yeah. what I mean? And the, and the analytics are all off because Arkansas has had a slew of fucking injuries. So uh, I don't think they represent really what the Razorbacks I, are. I see how easy it is for a coach to get fat. I looked around the coaching <laughs> ranks and the way Musselman's keeping that program and keeping that body, he's working. <laughs> Hey, before we get to the uh, second half of the game, shout out to Talkify. You know Talkify. You love Talkify. Why? Because Talkify does the heavy lifting when it comes to um, your first date. Like imagine, imagine if you could get a scouting profile on on a girl you're about to go out with. Maybe there's like they're essentially Talkify the Ken Palm of uh, dating and especially first dates because they do all the heavy lifting. They do the research. They do background checks, video interviews, asking the tough questions that are too awkward to ask on a first date. They have you covered. So look out Ken Palm. Talkify is here to stay and Talkify hitting at a great I mean, you know, Talkify doesn't like to tout, but I'll tout for Talkify. 80% of their clients met their person within the first 12 matches. That is I mean, imagine if we were hitting our locks at eighty percent. Some are close. I, w- I want to know more about this background checks. Maybe they'd say, "Hey, look, she—I know she's smoking hot, Colby, but you know she's uh, oh yeah, she's maybe 40, forty grand in she's debt. A, maybe, she's a yeah. rim, rim protector with great length. Uh, she did a couple nights stay for soliciting. Okay, yeah, she sounds like my gal. Hey, whatever it is, they ask all those questions. They do the heavy lifting for you. And if you use the promo code SGP and you get 20% off when you become a client, talkify.com slash SGPN, T A W K I F Y.com slash SGPN for 20% off when you become a client. Oh, wow. Look at this. More, more, more rage in the chat. Is that. Is that Noah's burner? I I mean, does <laughs> if you're gonna type with capitals and lowercase, are you is there like an automatic filter that does that, or are you all hitting shift and releasing shift, hitting shift and re- releasing shift? I I mean, I I would be interested because that's an impressive ability. It's almost like a drummer thing, right? You can hit the cymbal and the bass drum at the same time. All right, they're talking about the chat. If you guys have no idea what you're what they're talking about. Oh yeah, the, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at Sean coming in over here. No, if you're talking about something yeah. that's on the screen, you have to let them know what's going on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm. when when Colby and I are talking about something, and you crowbar in with something completely unrelated. Similar, similar but different. Maybe confusing. Let's head over to uh, Friday, where we have the nine seed Florida Atlantic, the four seed Tennessee. How has Rick Barnes done it? He's in the Sweet, sweet Sixteen. Feels like we have some easy fade coaches here. Laying five and a half, minus two forty-five on the money line. The Owls 
plus 205. 130 and a half is the total. MSG, who has the advantage in MSG? Tennessee, a lot of Vols fans coming up north in the this Mason is a, Dixon. This is an interesting quote from the FAU coach, Dusty May. We're going to study Australian r- rugby rules and get ready for the Vols. Hey, doesn't that almost give them credit? Like they're already in your head that this game is going to be physical. That stood out to me as uh, as not great. Also, Tennessee, not great in the Sweet 16, one and seven. Uh, he just has one other, uh, or volunteers in general. Uh, Rick Barnes, one other Sweet 16 appearance with the team, lost to Purdue in 2019. I, I mean, I, I think I'm he's wondering going, if we're wrong about Rick Barnes. I, I think he's going for the uh, Seth Greenberg angle where he called the uh, the Duke Tennessee game the worst refereed game he's ever seen. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. They were certainly letting him play. I mean, this FAU team has. I mean, they've looked great all year. I, I, I think, you know, they've won a ton of games and um, I guess what you would combat is they were struggling with that FDU team. Uh, they kind of struggled to put them away and they didn't tennis, cover. And they didn't cover. Uh, wait, did they cover or no? No. Okay. S- the spread ended up. Oh being yeah. It was like, like 15, 15 and a half. It was something crazy. Uh, Tennessee's defense. Number one in adjusted defense. I, I don't know if uh, if FAU has the offense to 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 battle with this Tennessee defense, and I think there's a physicality and there's an athlete thing here with Tennessee. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it it does feel like it's it's hard to take Florida Atlantic. I'm on FAU. Right, right. I think they're the better team, and they've been the better team all year. See, ten- Tennessee, Tennessee, it's just Rick Barnes. I'm not. I didn't. I, I think he caught an inexperienced Duke team that didn't know how to play. Yeah, that's what know. that's what Jay told us about his Dukies. And well, I and if, if you did you see that tweet they put out Duke? It was like nineteen and one when fully healthy or something like that. ACC champs. It's what like, does guys, that even come mean? On, you can't like, celebrate yeah. after a win like that, and it's, don't put out these when healthy records. It, if it, you want to say, hey, tough ending, but we won the ACC championship. That's okay, fine. Modern sports is asterisks, right? And We're gonna have asterisks for health. But but FAU is also a top twenty defense, guys, and the Conference USA was way up. I, I even think they've had experience facing defensive minded teams in t- Tennessee's you know vein, like North All Texas. Right, fuck it. So I, I'm on the Owls to get it done. Money line play. They're a fun team, but I mean to to Hoops Peterson's point, the FDU is a bunch of Division two ballers. <laughs> yeah, but D two. <laughs> There's not a big gap between D two and right. mid majors. Look, I, yeah. I, I was always looking to, to. I was hoping you were going to talk me into fading Hurley and Barnes. That could be a fun parlay. Oh, I like that. Fade, fade the frauds. Uh, and I think I said I might have accidentally said this on Friday. This is still Thursday. All right, so six forty five. We're heading back west. So, I'm on Tennessee minus oh. five and a half. I really. Yeah. Oh. I, mm. Are you sure? Yeah. Rick Barnes. Yes. Okay. This is the time to ride Rick. So. Okay. Good luck with that. Thank that, you. That's going to be in it. Michigan State, Tennessee is a nice. Uh, that's that's what the conspiracy theory theorists would want. Uh, all right, and right. then and then Michigan State beats Tennessee to go to the Final Four. And then then your bracket would be one of one or one of four correct. Yes. Gonzaga, see this this is the game I was telling you I wanted to see before everything got started in Vegas. Gonzaga, UCLA, the three two matchup, excellent matchup here. Minus two for UCLA, minus one thirty five on the money line, plus one fifteen for Gonzaga. One forty five and a half is the total. A simple play right here. Gonzaga has they've won their games. They have not impressed me. Uh they were already in the first round. Second round did not impress me. UCLA is gonna fuck them up. Love UCLA here. And this is this is a cool game too. Seventeenth anniversary of the 73 71 Bruins win with uh, Adam Morrison crying on the court. Um by the way, he's getting paid in that commercial. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> so. Hey, what are you up to, Greg Oden and Adam Morrison? You want to hang out on the beach and record a commercial? <laughs> Stephen Adams somehow got in there. Are we at all worried about the injuries? Because I agree, I like UCLA, but damn, if this team, how healthy is Bona? How healthy is I mean, uh, David Singleton's got that ankle injury. J- Jalen Clark obviously out for the game. I do worry about that. I- I'll take the Bruins, but. I don't UCLA. feel nearly as confident as you do. I feel like with the way you said that more people like this is one of those weird LA things. 
more people are willing to go from UCLA to Vegas to watch their team than they are to the Rose Bowl. Hmm. So well, I, it's easier to get to probably. I, I yeah. think this. Yeah, is, I mean, the, the, I think they're going to have a. <laughs> it really is. You fly from LAX. Yeah, it's only an hour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're coming from the west side, it's probably easier to get to. Uh, easier to get to Vegas. I this UCLA team, like again, they check all the boxes. I had them win in the tournament. I'm not going to jump off them now. Even with the injuries, they seem to figure out ways to. Um, Ways to get it done. This Love their coaching fantastic. too. This game is fantastic. Let's be honest. It should, the game. It should be a good game. Yeah. And Singleton is going to try and play. I mean, Jaime Hawkes, the Camarillo legend, he's putting the team on his yeah, back. And on. and you got Tiger Campbell. Like they just they've played. They've won these games. Like they have. He's got to go against the Meth King, Drew Timmy. <laughs> I got. A hot, I got a hot I mean, take. I get. I'm Timmy. out on Timmy. I'm over Timmy. T- it's Timmy. been too long. Too much Timmy. He gets Timmy. away with that hook. Watch out. Timmy. He gets away with that hook. Well, and if they call that or not, could have a big, big difference on the Definitely. game. Definitely. Stetson Bennett, Van Wilder, Drew Timmy. Two years is too many. I don't need to see this guy anymore. It's like I go away already. <laughs> is this his last year? Probably what did he not. Do to you, buddy? He's got yeah. more time, right? It's the, it's the must. It's the facial hair. It's just the whole persona. It's like it's getting annoying. It's like a, <laughs> it's like the guy that shows up to your gym and just tries way too fucking hard. <laughs> the guy who's yeah. always grunting. <laughs> it's like, dude, relax with your <laughs> fucking headband. Like, I get it. You sweat. You're a man. Like, you probably you're gonna go lift weights after this too, aren't you? All right. U- UCLA, 14 and one since January. Their only loss was that Pac-12 championship game. Uh, against Arizona, like they 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 just have that co- that experienced core, and I know Timmy also has a bunch of experience, but I also like uh, I, I I also oh, like the I, coaching. If they were UCLA. both healthy, I would love UCLA. I think this is going to be a game because I don't know how healthy UCLA is. Who's they have the, multiple who, guys that are, are are dinged up. You know what I mean? Cool. We need a we need a, a Colby that like needs a doctor character. For the for these medical reports, yes, <laughs> and they're UCLA. They're used to the Westwood. You know what I mean. You stub your toe, you're I, out for the season, right? Yeah, I I, I think Gonzaga is going to choke. The coaching edge, the UCLA. Is that a is that hot? Yeah, but I'm out on Drew Timmy. Uh, Timmy, I, we I don't, don't know. Yeah, who? Yeah, gun to your head. You'd rather Mark Few. Well, big we've, game. We've never w- seen Cronin get to a national championship. Big game. First time for anything. All yeah. right, or so, everything. Oh, only only took one favorite, Sean. What's going on? Mixing it up. Yeah, you know. Oh, me. Uh, you took all, almost all favorites. I took three favorites, like real, one dog. Fucking LeBron James walking over to the scorer's <laughs> table there. <laughs> Ryan, I've just been giving out winners. So that's kind of the goal. Dogs or favorites. Just got to mm. sniff out that winner. Okay. Time for our lock and dog. Brought to you by swordvitality.com. Unsheath your sword. Promo code SGPN. Lock, Remember. muscleman, dog. Whoo! Oh wow! Fade Rick Barnes, which again, by the way, um, just r- let's let's hope these kids. I didn't even include it in my handicap, but these kids are coming from humid climates. We got to yeah, make sure on, they Ryan. stay hydrated with the humid. Uh, they're all dealing with it, and I I trust this Florida uh, Atlantic UConn? program. What? Uh, you're you're just talking oh, about sorry. humid climates. U- UConn, UConn's humid. Arkansas's humid. Come on. Uh, you, I don't know about Connecticut, but um, I'm just worried. Uh, make sure Muscleman is a, look at the way. Look at that fitness. He knows there's going to be humidifiers in the room. <laughs> he used to live in Vegas. Or, oh, uh, sorry, local not, not in Vegas, Nevada, Nevada. Yeah, okay. yeah. that's yeah. why he knows. Yeah. And what he sh- should probably be telling his team is hit the hit the Walgreens and buy the cheap humidifier because they might try to rip your ass off. Dave Rent, Marino, renting you one. Dave Marino pointing out Lashawn James oh. with all this chalk. All right, uh, for me. <laughs> Going UCLA minus two for the lock. LaShawn. <laughs> for my dog. He played Woo. running back for the Eagles. Sue. Woo pig. Arkansas on the money line. Get it done. Colby? Like it, buddy. Uh you gotta just stay stay chalk here with uh Really? With the coaches. Arkansas plus three and a half. Uh is the lock. Florida Atlantic on the money line is the play. Nice job, Colby. We're just Dog. Skipping down the road together. Gotta do it. Hey, there's CBI too. We can talk a little CBI, NIT, <laughs> all that good stuff. You know, I, you know, I've heard the, I've heard it's been a riveting CBI. Daytona Beach, baby. When are you guys gonna send me out there to cover the CBI? Well, 
feels like you have more important things. To do. I don't know, Colby. I don't know if you can handle more travel. Yeah, what are you talking Tantabase about? Tantabase was yeah. recharging you, for a long time. You didn't want to. Yeah, come on. That's Colby. a Vegas thing. Don't though, pull you get back. me out in that beautiful day. Actually, Daytona Beach. Yeah, have you, you ever been to Daytona you don't think Beach? Daytona Beach is gonna wear you out. Oof, Daytona Beach, man. I went there. That dirty, Dur dirty secret. Uh, Colby hates watching college basketball. <laughs> that was a funny moment. Um, as for someone who was like sitting there, I think it was on Friday. Uh, there were two separate times uh, where Colby or Ryan was gone and I was there. And then Kramer said to someone, you know, the dirty little secret is Colby doesn't watch these games. And then Colby's uh, or Kramer's gone. And then Colby goes, see Kramer, the guy doesn't even watch the game. Snork. Bo they were both what calling each other about? for not watching the game. What are you talking about? And I was there watching the game oh, the stop. entire Sean, time. Your body might've been there. Yeah. I don't know if you Look, were there. I got offered a free breakfast on the eleventh floor of some fucking place. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, and uh, that's how that's how crime. They so had I, the games on there. So I, you, you know think I, I was missing? You the know games, what I had for right? breakfast? The shittiest piece of shit <laughs> shit room service pizza that was uh, fucking a pile of shit. Yeah. And then I had like six drinks. You should have gone to the uh, the bougie floor with yeah, uh, the I male should've. prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry, Colby. Sword Vitality. Hey, thank you guys as always. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, toss us some likes, ratings, reviews. Always appreciate that. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sean, how does it feel to be a bookend? Kramer, let it ride.